Welcome back friends. Now let's solve another problem using MACLA 40 rearrangement. Now here is the question. They provide us uh, this particular molecule and they have told us that uh, what is going to be the predicted fragmentation pattern of this particular uh, molecule. Now uh, again the important thing about the MACLA 40 rearrangement is that we need to find the alpha hydrogen next to the unsaturation point. Now here it is, this is the alpha hydrogen as we see in this picture. This is the alpha hydrogen and this is the uh, unsaturation point uh, there. And when we find this uh, alpha hydrogen uh, right next to alpha unsaturation point, then the rest of the part will begin, right? Uh, so now let's say, uh, so the first process is uh, to indicate uh, this particular alpha hydrogen, what we have done. Now the second important thing is that we need to find the starting place of the rearrangement. Like uh, we all know that rearrangement occurs in three different ways, make, breaking a bond and then making a bond. So let me write it again, breaking a bond and then making of a bond, right? So we need to follow this breaking and making of bond three times, right? So let's find it here. And in the previous video, I haven't told uh, you about the fish hook arrows because uh, actually McLeafarty rearrangement, you must show the arrows. I haven't shown you the arrows. Simply, I show you how to delete the part and uh, place the bonding. So in this video, I'm going to take uh, you through the arrows, right? So let's say these are called the fish hook arrows. So let me write it here. Fish hook arrows. Now the fish hook arrow is something like that. So let me write it. This will look like this. This means uh, one place there is a hook, another uh, terminal there is nothing. So whenever we are having a breaking of a bond, we de denote it with this terminal of this arrow, with this blunt terminal. So this, this signifies uh, the breaking of a bond. Okay. Usually this signifies the breaking of a bond. And this fish hook uh, denotes, this part of the section denotes making of a new bond. Right? That means uh, when you put this arrow, when you put this fish hook arrow, for example, say when you put this kind of arrow, it is telling us that an electron is transferred from this place to that place. So that is very, very important. I must have told you uh, these things before, but I haven't mentioned you, uh, these things before, but still. So that's the important part. Okay. So now let's talk about more. Now let's say here. Uh, in this particular picture, what, you go, what we are going to see, this breaking and making of the bond using this. So when you are having uh, this electron transferring, we got here the breaking of the bond and here we will be seeing the making of the bond, right? So now let's find here. In this case, uh, we can see here, this is the double bond. So from here, electron can be tra transferred. So first of all, we begin our process here. So breaking of the bond, so we can see breaking of this particular bond here and making a bond at this range, right? So what we put, we'll put an arrow like that. So that means here we are having a breaking of a bond, here we are having a making of a bond. Now, similarly, so uh, second round, breaking of a bond. So this bond will be broken and this will be a formation of a bond. So now let's put another one. So here it is, breaking of a bond and the hook means making of a bond here. Now the third part, Breaking of a bond will be here and making of a bond will be there. So we, we must put here again like this. So that means again here the blunt end breaking of a bond and this fish hook end means the making of a bond or transfer of the electron, right? So this thing will occur like that. So after after the electron transfer, so you must write as electron transfer. So when you put this electron transfer, what we get? We get the structure. Now the structure we get here is something like that. So this portion will remain as it is. And then we can we can see one bond is broken here, so only one uh, part will be there, like that. And this C is connected here, and you can see here a fish hook. So that means here, here are a new bond is formed here. So we must put uh, two lines here because a new bond is formed, and there is a breaking of the bond. So we won't draw this. Now, in, in, uh, plus it what it generates is obviously uh, we can see here. Uh, this this bond is broken so now here we can see a fish hook that means a bond is formed so two and then this part right it remains as it is but again this bond here uh, with this hydrogen is broken and it is uh, now joined with this oxygen so we must draw this here a hydrogen because this is linked with this structure so after the rearrangement what we get is these two species a and species b right 
that's how the macla fatty rearrangement occurs using fissure carrots